Hello again. We are headed to the dentist. Woo! Yeah, go dentist. Teeth cleaning. The tough thing with having your hair be wet because you didn't dry it properly, I do have to always bring a hat because there's a chance that it dries and I look like Martha Washington. So, in case I transform into Martha during the 30 minute drive, I'll go into the dentist office with a hat so that they know that I am indeed a male and I'm not from the 1800s. and I'm not from the 1700s. You saw it, you saw my Martha Washington hair yesterday. It's like the little boop, but what does she look like? Martha Washington. You know what? Huh, I don't think I've ever looked up Martha Washington and yet I refer to her pretty frequently. They had amazing camera quality back then. That's a joke. Anyway, I don't want to look like I'm wearing a colonial wig. So we will bring a hat. It's very gloomy out today. Raining and cloudy, dark, depressing. Few people have told me this is their favorite weather and to that I say, maybe there's something else at play. I mean, I get it, it's cozy. It's not though. It's so gloomy outside, it's so dark. Yesterday I was concerned that I had too much coffee and that was the root of my uh, energy. But I didn't have any today, so, oh, there's a squirrel. Okay, squirrel, go. Are squirrels now born with the knowledge that whenever they get to a road, if they're at the side of the road, they gotta run as fast as they can? I guess they just see something coming at them and they run. But they never like, you know what? When it's in the street, it's never running like away from your car as if you're chasing it. It's always running across. How does it know to run across? Interesting that you've never considered that. Has anyone? <sighs> Whenever I have to go to the dentist, the week before I have to go, oh, you bet I'm on my A-plus floss game. I'm flossing those teeth morning and night. The day of, I scrub my teeth raw. I want that compliment. I want that dental hygienist to be like, wow, honey, your teeth are great. That's what I'm working for. I'm currently getting a second opinion because I went to my first dentist appointment in a new city. Just literally chose the first dentist that came up on ZocDoc. They were so nice. The sweetest dental hygienist, she gave me that compliment. She said, stunning teeth, to which I said, thank you very much. But the dentist came in, she went ahead and looked at my teeth for about three seconds and told me that I have lesions in between my teeth, which I have no pain. I thought my teeth were great. Visually, they look great. Don't have bad breath. I think. What is a lesion? Never heard that in the dentist's office. Then she gave me a $2,000 bill. 1,300 of which was covered by insurance, but I was like, what the fuck? Sorry. She gave me a preliminary bill. Told me that on my next appointment, this is what it's going to cost because she has to repair these lesions. And I said, okay, yes, very good. So... Sorry, I think the person next to me is looking at me record this, and it's too early for that shit, so I'm gonna pretend like I'm FaceTiming. Oh my god, I'm so uncomfortable. Uh, they're turning with me. <sighs> anyway, I got in my car after the appointment, and I was thinking, I was like, what the heck? What did she say? I like blacked out during that whole appointment and just nodded my head. Lesions, I was like, what is a lesion between a tooth? I didn't even get the whatever she wanted to do and I had to pay for half of it. So anyway, long story short, I'm going to another dentist's office to get a second opinion. And they were all, it was so bougie. The dental hygienist telling me about her house here sounded really bougie. She was so young and she had a house. Is it because they're charging up the wazoo for fake procedures? I don't know. That'd be horrible. Anyway, hopefully these people will be like, lesions, plesions. Excuse the noise. It's my Subaru just kicking ass, going fast. One last little tidbit about this whole dentist scam. The time that they told me that I needed all these procedures was done last Wednesday. It's now Tuesday, and this is the day that I was supposed to go in to have the procedure done, which I was like, oh my god, it's it's this big of a crisis? Now that I'm thinking about it, it's kind of weird that they booked it out for six days after, and you pay a deposit, so that it's such short-term notice that by the time you're gonna seek a second opinion, because they're closed on Friday, you're not gonna get your security deposit back. Oh my god, that is fucking boonies because when i called they rescheduled it for may which i was like i thought this was an emergency now it can wait two months uh something's not right here i'm gonna feel like the best detective on the planet if i go to this dentist and they're like there's nothing wrong getting scammed by a dentist
My overall takeaway from this situation thus far is that if your dentist is driving a Lamborghini Yaris, get a second opinion. We're here. I'll let you know how it goes. Thankfully, this didn't become a colonial wig. No hat today. Okay, so the other dentist wasn't lying. <laughs> Everything checked out about the same. So the title of this vlog is actually a lie and this is the disclaimer. I'm sorry to the previous dentist, sincerest apologies. Can't wait to come in for the procedure. I'm so excited. You guys are the best. So glad to be in your hands. The first thing the dentist said to me when she came in the room was, do you watch Stranger Things? And I was like, oh my God, she's about to compare me to Will Byers. Thank you very much. But no, she said that my hair looks like Steve. Martha Washington, colonial wig. What am I saying? Imagine she was like, you look like Will Byers. It's gonna be a little awkward going back to my original dentist because they fully know that I went somewhere else for a second opinion. And I came up with this whole narrative in my head that they were these scam lords. And I'm just gonna go back and be like, do you guys still take Blue Cross Blue Shield? So come have a rainy chill day with me and Pippa and Winnie. This one's got a little bit of anxiety. Wonder where she gets it from. Cut the cameras, dead ass. <laughs> no biting. No biting. You're still biting. We have a few errands to run. Doggos are out of food. We'll probably take them along with us. I think it'd be good to let them, you know, run around. Let's get the dogs dressed and let's get the. Uh, I cursed too much in the previous vlog and sent it to my mom and she agreed that I am being a bit of a sailor. So this little clip is for you, mom. Let's get the lip out of here. Let's get the, let's get the, Let's get the, let's get the phalange out of here. Let's get the, hmm, shit, I can't think of anything. This is a very car vlog. First stop, we're gonna go to the pet store and maybe adopt another animal. That shit happens pretty frequently in this house. That's how these two came about. Not a pet store, Craigslist, they're the best. Except when you're not. Let's see where the night takes us. Okay, maybe you go to the passenger side? Just me and the girls. I would take them inside, but they still don't behave. And when they don't behave in public and people ask, I just say, sorry, they're, they're just puppies. They're full adults. I'm gonna go get you something yummy. I vaguely remember where this park is. We're just gonna drive around and see if we can find it. Wait, where is this? I actually don't, you know what? I'm actually kind of at a loss right now. Oh, don't back into me. Jesus. 
I can't remember. Okay, give me a sec. I need, I can't be on camera. This, it's the pressure, it's too much for me. When I notice a car following me, it takes as much, if you, if you take as, if you take, if you take so many as three of the same consecutive turns as me, I have my eyes on you, I'm watching you because I am prepared for the time that it's a killer following me and I have to utilize all my evasive driving techniques. Actually, I don't have any, but don't think you're being sly. I've literally already memorized your plates. Anyway, this red car behind me has been doing that. Okay, let's go find this field. By the grace of God and Google Maps, I think we found it. Okay, well, we just went in a massive flipping circle. See, mom, I know how to not curse. I couldn't find that park. New plan, we're gonna go home and I'm gonna exhaust their little brains by teaching them a new trick. Stay tuned. Okay, Winnie just farted, so that's delicious. Um, they are such gassy dogs, by the way. If you're getting a cattle dog, which, let me stop you right there, don't do that. But if you are, be prepared to smell some toots, magoots. They're gassy as fuck. If I show you this next clip, you are not allowed to make fun of my dog voice. You're not allowed to do it, okay? They like it. This is how we communicate. Don't make fun of me. Hi, Mimi. You gassy? You making tooty pooties? Tooty McFruities? You making tooty McFruities? Okay. As I was pulling around a corner in our neighborhood, the mailman was flying around one of the turns. And there's just something so bizarre about having a mailman, in this case, male woman, driving recklessly. It's like a, I don't want to say onomatopoeia, but that's not right. It's a, what's that word? When it's like gigantic shrimp, what is that word? Nils from the future. What's that word? It's an oxymoron, you moron. Oh yeah, that. I feel like a recklessly Reckless driving, reckless driving mailman slash woman is one of those. Anyway, let's go teach them some tricks. I lied. I lied. Okay, I lied. I don't have the energy to teach them a trick. They're having a blast outside, so they're just fine. So we're making this kale salad that I saw on TikTok. It looks great, so I'm gonna make some modifications to it, as always, which always make the recipe worse, but nonetheless, I feel the need to do it. Let's get creative in the kitchen, baby. Okay, there. We'll just, we'll just wait a sec. Winnie, you done? Can we chill? Oh shit. So I could clean this living room five times a day and it wouldn't matter. Yeah, but it's not supposed to look like that. Uh, it was cleaned yesterday. Anyway, let's make this salad. Shout out to the people from college that are subscribed to this channel and are seeing these vlogs. Shout out Sina, shout out Mel. You guys are the real ones. I'll put you down, I'll let you see me making the salad. Okay, and you cannot judge the way that I did this. Uh, I will pick all that up. And also, I will do the dishes. The dishwasher is full, okay? Chill. So if somebody could let me know if this is another thing that I've fallen for. There's such a thing as not real salt. What the hell have I been eating? A little bit more expensive, as you would expect with this sort of branding. It definitely looks a little more real. I'm assuming it's healthier. Who the hell knows? Just trying my best to live a healthy lifestyle and not die prematurely of some weird disease that is coming from all the toxins in our life, you know? We're gonna roast a garlic with lemon and golden raisins. I know, who likes raisins? It sounded good in this recipe, so we're gonna go with it. I actually did end up following the recipe. Mm, mm hmm Oh god. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That bite was fire. That's that that's gonna be it for today. 
my night's winding down, as you can see. I'm gonna munch on this salad. Maybe I'll do some self-care, who knows? Probably not, I'll probably just end up straining my eyes watching TV instead. She's about to jump up, I can tell. Ready? This is her, This that's her prepared stance. You wanna bet? I told you. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Thankfully, I'm not getting scammed by my dentist. We learned some stuff about squirrels. We got some dog food. We made some food. We survived this rainy day. Oh, butt in the face, love it. Uh, excuse me, what the fuck? Get down. We'll see you tomorrow, bright and early. That's all I got. I hope that outro suffices. I need something more fulfilling. It doesn't feel like I'm ending on the right note, you know? It feels too quick or whatever, so maybe I'll give y'all a hug and that's how we end it. Here's a hug. There you go. Do you want another one? This time I'll really hold you.